So hey there guys, do you guys want to have a permission manager on your Pocketbind server? Well guys, it's pretty simple and in today's video I'm going to be showing you exactly that so let's get right into it. So yo yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video, it's me your boy TechnoT and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Pure Perms plugin that can be found on Pocketbind by the way, link will be down in the video description below if you want to check it out. But anyway, this is a plugin review so I do these every Saturday, please make sure you hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button if you're new around here, but enough talk, let's get right into the Pure Perms permission commands. So the first command from the Pure Perms plugin that I have to show you guys is groups. So a group is a specific list of people. Once you add it to that group, there can be certain permissions that that group can have. Let's say one group can place down blocks and another group is literally just in adventure mode. Basically, you can set groups to have different abilities on your server. So to add a group, we're gonna do slash add group and then you're gonna give this group a name. I'm gonna call this TT. There we go, we've added TT to the group list right there and that is going to be one of the groups on my server now to view the groups that are on your server simply do slash groups and as you can see we have the default guest admin owner operator and builder but on top of that I added two more custom ones I named them builder and TT of course so let's say I wanted TT to have the inheritance list of operator so in order to do that I can do slash add parent and then the target group is going to be TT the one that I just made and then the parent group is going to be operator as you can see just added operator to group TT's inheritance list so anybody that is on the TT list will have the operator commands as well so the next thing I'm going to be showing you is how to set a default group to a world so the best way to do that is this command slash def group and then the group that you want we're just going to put tt and then for the world we're going to put world and as you can see default group has been successfully set to tt now the next command i'm going to be showing you is how to find permissions for specific plugins now the only plugin i have on this server is the pure perms plugin so this will not work but let's say i wanted to let tt use the multi-worlds plugin right so what you'd want to do from there is you want to do slash F perms and then the plugin that you want them to have permission to so I'm going to do slash F perms and then from there the specific plugin now I do not have any other plugin loaded in but if you do then type in whichever plugin it is so plugin right here uh, for example I'm gonna do multi worlds even though I don't have that on right there multi worlds does not exist but if you do have a plugin, you can actually view the permissions that you can do on that. Okay, so let's say we wanted to figure out the information about a group in a specific world. Well, to do that, do slash grp info and then the group you want, so tt space and then the world. For this world, I only loaded up the default world, so it's just called world. So this would be whichever world you want. The default world in Pocketmine is always called world. So as you can see, these are some of the group informations. So as you can see, this is the group information we get when we type that command in. As you can see, default, yes, parent operator. You can view the parent group and all that. So let's say we wanted to remove a group. So to remove a group, simply do slash rm group, and then the group you want to remove, I'm going to remove tt. And as you can see, we have just successfully removed the group called TT. Let's say we wanted to remove a group from another group's inheritance list. Simply, all you'd have to do is slash RM parent space and then the target group. I made a group before called builders and then the parent group, which was builder and hit enter. And as you can see, removed builder from group inheritance list. So you can basically remove them from the inheritance inheritance list. So let's say we wanted to add a specific permission to a specific group. So I'm going to do, so to give a group certain permissions, you simply do slash set perm and then the group of your choice and then the permission we're going to do and then the specific world. My default world is just called world. So I'm just going to type in world and hit enter. And if you guys want to set a specific player to a specific permissions group, all you'd simply would need to do is you'd need to do slash 
set group and then the player name I'll just put in my alt account so the player name right there and then we put the group we'll set team Trumu to the group TT and then the specific world I'm going to put world because that's my default of course and then right there we've added that specific player to that group and basically what that allows that player to do is access that specific group's permissions and it grants that user permission to use those. So hey there guys, I accidentally forgot I didn't include a couple of these, but I wanted to put them up here just in case if you were looking for them. So yeah, here's a couple of ones that I missed and a description of what they do. So yeah. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you guys did, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Stay fierce, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See you guys.